What's up guys, Juggalo here. Today we're going to talk about BIOS flashing and I'm not going to do the full on BIOS flashing because I already BIOS flashed my cards and I really don't want to have to reset everything to triple screen and setting up SLI and all that stuff. So I am going to show you what programs more than likely you're probably going to need to do this kind of BIOS flashing uh, for the Titan cards. Now if I can get this enabled um, right here you have GPU Z right here now this program you're wanting to have or you want to have um, just because I keep on uh, trying to figure out there we go this program here is going to enable you to save the BIOS so what you're going to do here is click on here and apparently there's a new GPU Z it's going to be 0.7.1 so make sure you download the up-to-date uh, GPU-Z and if you see this little guy right here it, this right here is going to enable you to save your BIOS so once you do that you click that then it's going to run a little program and then it'll save your BIOS see right there GK110 I already have done this so I'm not going to do this again so make sure you save a copy of your BIOS of your Titan card also send it to an email that you know and so in case it does get deleted or something like that you won't have to worry about anything alright now if you see this right here it says PCI Express 2.0 times 16 1.1 um, I have to run the program the force enable 3.0 uh, PCI Express 3.0 on here okay you want to get uh, the program NV Flash. I'll drag it right here. And this program right here um, is what you need to enable yourself to do this. <clears throat> so you can open it up, and I keep on moving it because it likes to go different uh, screens apparently. So you open up NV Flash, and this is what you have in here. And with Kepler. BIOS Tweaker, you can use that to actually BIOS flash multiple cards if you want. So this is the easiest way I can think of. And you're just going to open up this. You're going to hit run. And here it is right here. Then from there, you can pick any BIOS that you want. So we're going to go like open BIOS right here. And then from here, you have a list of BIOSes. So uh, BA2, Badass ROM2, all that crap. So that's what I have. Um, the RRN or RR90SS I heard is pretty much the best BIOS you can use. But I've renamed it to Badass ROM2 already. So all you have to do is click on here, open, and then you have to make sure the Kepler BIOS tweaker is in the NV Flash BIOS uh, folder or NV Flash folder or whatnot. Okay, and then from there you open it up. Then you have Flash BIOS, and it says NV Flash Unknown. You click yes, and then right here, this is the area. And then from there, all you have to hit is yes for GPU one, then yes again for GPU two and then that's it guys all you have to do is do that okay once you do that you flash your card right alright now after that you say you rebooted your card and you're running a Rampage 4 Extreme uh, card so I'm gonna abort that and I'm gonna exit out of GPU Z so one second guys let me close this out and close everything else out alright so we're gonna go ahead and close all that out so now we're gonna have force enable I'm gonna drag it right here force enable 3.0 this will enable your cards to run at uh, the PCI Express 3.0 um, if you are using an x79 motherboard if you're using like Ivy Bridge you don't have to worry about it because your card should be running already at 3.0 so what what you do is you're gonna run as administrator and I do this a couple of times run as administrator hit yes then we're gonna go ahead and restart so let me go ahead and do that shouldn't take too long to restart 
All right. So I'm sorry if this is a long video, but a lot of people have been asking me how do you do it and what's the easiest way. Downloading uh, Kepler's uh, BIOS Squeaker is probably the easiest way you can do it. Drag it into the NV Flash folder that you have. Uh, once you extract that and put it in the area. So this is more or less a tutorial for tech advanced people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly recommend looking up where your downloads go to where to drag the folder and extract that folder. You can move that folder to your desktop like I have or you can just do it in the download section. Alright, now the issue with me, it took me about an hour uh, trying to figure out why one card was always staying uh, down clocked. I think one was going up to like 900 something, the other was like 600 and never went any higher. Well that's because once you buy slash your cards you have SLI enabled, what you're going to have to do is actually go to the um, NVIDIA control panel and then from there you're going to have to go through your SLI settings and reconfigure them or disable SLI then re-enable SLI so your cards will run at full speed. Just letting you guys know that's the problem that I was having is like well why aren't these cards running at full speed then I finally looked at my uh, computer when it booted up it said SLI settings have been configured, uh, reconfigured, please configure them or whatever. So that's what I had to do here is enable SLI again and then from there my cards are running um, full speed. The uh, BIOS I'm using goes to 1097 uh, for the max. Also I heard the Tech Inferno BIOS is what to use because it doesn't use that GPU boost stuff. It uh, pretty much once you set the speed it's going to run at that speed full time so the GPU uh, boost 2.0 has been taken out or excuse me taken out of the EVGA precision when you do that so a lot of people have been giving praise with the Tech Inferno BIOS and everything like that all you have to do is go on the internet and look up Tech Inferno on their website you might need five posts or something like that to enable yourself to um, download the BIOS and everything. So once you configure your SLI configuration, we're all good on that. Um, then you would enable the PCI Express uh, Force pack that NVIDIA released. And so if I run GPU Z again, let me close out of here. I gotta find it again. One second guys. Alright, here, click yes. And then we'll go over here and then see that little patch I'm already at 3.0 uh, 16 times 16 so both cards are running at uh, should be running at uh, PCI Express 3.0 and I did the different uh, card right here sorry about that so we have GPU 1 selected PCI Express 3.0 we're gonna do GPU 2 PCI Express 3.0 times 16 so everything's good so right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the GPU Z um, newest GPU Z I should say so you're gonna download that make sure you download this for the love of God before you BIOS flash so make sure you do that um, you have to make sure you are backing up your BIOS before you do any kind of you know BIOS flashing because you don't want to have it where it flashes and then what if it bricks on you? Well if it bricks on you um, then you're pretty much screwed so we have this new folder right here I'm going to go ahead and replace so I have that I'm going to delete the old one and now we have the new one I'm going to open up that and see what it does alright here we go. This is the new GPU Z. It doesn't have the ROG uh, ROG screen or whatever, but here we go. This is the new GPU Z that came out probably pretty recently, within the week or so. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need NV Flash. Uh, you're going to need the uh, NVIDIA, or I should say Kepler BIOS Tweaker as well. You can just type that up and download that program. And uh, once you have NV Flash, extract all the files, 
put them on your uh, desktop from there, drag the Kepler BIOS tweaker, put it in the NV Flash folder where all the programs are at, and then from there you're going to download your uh, ROM wherever you want your ROM. Uh, download that and then make sure all your ROMs are in the NV Flash folder as well. Once you have that, you can run Kepler BIOS Tweaker, load your BIOS, select the BIOS you want, hit Flash, and you're going to be good to go. So again, this is kind of the advanced way of doing it. This is the easiest way of doing it. Also, again, Kepler BIOS Tweaker can flash multiple cards at once, so it'll designate... Uh, your first GPU is GPU 0, then GPU 1 for your second card, then GPU 2 for your third card, and so on and so forth. That's how it goes. Uh, you can do the uh, in DOS uh, command. So what you're going to do is hit shift if you want to do it this way, and then open command window here. And from there, you can type in NV flash, capital N, and then V flash and space space, or space, and then uh, tack tack uh, protect off and that will turn off your protect on your cards and then from there you can BIOS, your, uh, BIOS flash your cards individually like that if you want to do so. If you're going to do that uh, take out your second card on your board if you do have a second GPU and even within the NV flash it even tells you instructions and how to do it for a single card and here it is right there let me, there we go. That's what you have to type in. So, NV flash, space, tack, tack, protect off. And then after that, you do NV flash, tack 4, space, tack 5, space, tack 6, space, or together, I'm not sure. And then right there, you'll ha list the name of the ROM, whether it be uh, BA2.ROM, and then load the ROM that you want to use. So, you have to put the ROM name that you want to use. You can rename it just so you don't have to keep on typing a long extension of what the ROM name is. You can rename it. It's not going to hurt it. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm sure this video is pretty long. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I'm just trying to get all my bases covered and everything on how to BIOS flash a card. So again, Kepler BIOS Tweaker. Put that in the NV Flash folder. I'll make sure to have a link to where to get these guys and everything like that and thank you for watching thank you for the support and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button you guys have a wonderful day bye